Hello and welcome back to Sarasi Plays Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Where we last left off, we had reached the pirate village of Champa and defeated the salamander of Briggs's grandmother, who appears to be an extremely powerful woman able to summon demons to do her bidding, and also is able to reforge that trident we need to reforge. So, we already talked to these people. So now we're on our way out to try to find the last uh, piece of the trident. I see you've caught up with me again, Felix. But it would seem that we've been intercepted. Where the hell were you? Alex! Alex? Who is Alex? Alex is a water adept. We had been traveling together, but he left us when we landed on Indra. A water adept? Aha! Ah, and I see you've made a new friend. You have been busy, haven't you? Yeah, I'd say we have. And you've found yourself a new water adept. Do you mean to cast me away like old trash? <laughs> what do you want with us now, Alex? Or did you forget that you were the one who abandoned us? My dear Jenna, have you come to despise me so after all we've been through? Yeah, I'd say so. That's right, Felix. Why should we care about someone who just left us behind like that? My, aren't we a bitter bunch? And I was just trying to help you with your little task. We have no need of your help. We can light the lighthouses without you. Oh, can you really? Cursed! That's right, Karst. I'm flattered that you remember. What is this, Alex? What's going on? Ah, uh, how can I explain this? What's going on is Alex is demonstrating his remarkable foresight once again. Oh, have you not had the pleasure of an introduction? He stayed back at the ship while I saw them in Madra. I am a Gatio. Let's see. That guy's Felix, and the girls are Jenna and Sheba, which makes him... Crayden. They look like an unreliable bunch of ragamuffins. <laughs> yes, they are rather useless, aren't they? That's why I finally had to abandon them, of course. Yeah, but what the hell are you doing? <laughs> but now I believe I may have been hasty in my judgment. You are Pierce? <laughs> oh god, he's creepy. <laughs> How do you know my name? How soon they forget. <laughs> we met you before when you were being detained. <laughs> Who for could forget the amateur adept caught changing water to ice in that strange little town? <laughs> Ah, you saw that. That must be how you knew Pierce is a water addict. In fact, I was even thinking of borrowing his ship at one point. You would steal someone's boat? That's so typical, Alex. You wound me, Jenna. I only meant to borrow it. Whatever you might have meant, that doesn't make it right. And just when I was about to seize the opportunity, you had to come back. He's really showing his true colors now. You mean from Kibombo? I was mere moments too late. Isn't that a shame? <laughs> Watch out, Crater, he'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Still, because of that, I did meet Karst and Agatio, so perhaps it was my fate. Can't you just stop talking about yourself for one second, Alex? That one is going in the screenshots. <laughs> Enough of your childish guides. Alex, I want to know what makes these punks useful. Because they brought us the orb that Akafubu had taken. That shows some resourcefulness. How so? The Kibombo are quite warlike, or were at any rate. Recovering the orb was most likely not easy. They 
were just typical villagers, easily frightened with a small display of synergy. No, they would have used less abrupt methods than those you favor. Oh, what methods would those be? Agatio said it clearly enough. We wouldn't. Oh, Alex said it clearly enough. We wouldn't terrorize people into doing what we wanted. Enough of this! Stop changing the subject. When are you going to light the remaining lighthouses? Um, whenever we can get into the other fucking sea, excuse me? Yeah, our patience is beginning to wear thin. If you waste much more of our time, we'll take those elemental stars and do it ourselves. We only have the one, but okay. If we had a wind adept like Sheba and the elemental stars, we wouldn't need you. Excuse me? I am, of course, opposed to their line of thinking. <laughs> He's so evil. My experience with Sashos and Menardi suggests that while they were fierce warriors, they are somewhat lacking when it comes to solving the mysteries of the lighthouses. You mean to say that they failed to solve the riddles? Miserably. <laughs> oh wait, are you suggesting they were simple brutes incapable of logic and intelligence? And are you saying the same of us? I'm afraid so. <laughs> Why, well, such a dick. Alex, whose side are you on? <laughs> I am on no one's side. My only concern is to see the lighthouse beacons lit once again. <laughs> so you mean to leave the task to Felix? Then why have we come all this way looking for Felix? I merely wanted to confirm that he and his companions had not forgotten their quest. Is that truly all? I also wanted to introduce Felix to the two of you. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? With Satros and Menardi gone, you probably felt very little pressure to complete your task. Well, to be fair, we have been sailing all across the world. Trading items to animals and reading everyone's mind that we run into. Yeah, we kind of have been fucking around. I cannot have that. What do you mean by that? With Satros and Menardi gone, I felt another pair might, how shall I put this, provide you with the proper incentive to complete your task. Is that some kind of threat? Take it as you wish. I just wanted to provide you with the proper encouragement. So what? You've used us to your satisfaction and now our role is done? Yeah, pretty much. You only wanted us around to flex a little muscle and scare them into action? Fine. I suppose we will let you go today. Yikes. <laughs> but we will always be nearby, pushing you to make your way to Jupiter Lighthouse swiftly. Yikes. I look forward to seeing you again, Felix. Somewhere very near Jupiter Lighthouse. Creighton, am I right in recalling that you pursued this quest on the behalf of Toby's ruler, Bobby? This is true. I'm studying alchemy because Lord Bobby has ordered it. What about it? Ah, what a pity. It would seem all your studies have been for naught. What are you getting at, Alex? <laughs> Only that it seems your Lord Bobby has at last succumbed to the ravages of time. I mean, good riddance. Fuck him. He was an evil person. Lord Bobby is dead? Oh, so you didn't know. God, he's evil. <laughs> Lord Bobby? Dead? Could that really be true? That's actually a relief to her because she was from Lalavaro. And they were basically enslaved by Tolby after they took her hostage. Alex, how can you say- how would you know such a thing? Do not mistake me. We had no hand in Bobby's passing. Nobody was saying you did. Why did you jump to that conclusion? However, the people of Tolby may be under the impression that our presence led to his death. 
Alex, cut the melodrama and get to the point for a change. Simply put, I would recommend against traveling to North Gondawan for a while. Jeez, they fuck shit up. What the hell did you do there? Oh my god. I just thought it might be better if you focused on your quest instead of exploration for now. <laughs> How kind of you. That was not the right voice, but okay. Take it as you will. Very well. <laughs> May we meet again. So the only reason Alex came here was to threaten us? And to bring us news of Bobby's death, despite the fact that we asked for no such news. Perhaps he had his own reasons for telling Creighton. He's then there shaking his head in denial. Oh, poor Creighton, why did you fall in love with that evil man? What do you mean, Piers? If Creighton under undertook this quest on behalf of Bobby, then he no longer has any need. Oh, of course. I hadn't thought of that. Your orders were to find Lemuria, right, Creighton? That's right. But if Bobby really has died, you're free to go where you will, Creighton. That's not true, Shiba. Certainly my original reason for researching alchemy was for Lord Bobby. Was for Lord Bobby? That's the past tense. What are your reasons now? This is no longer solely for research. I do this because of what I've learned on this quest. Aw. Your research? What you learned on this quest? <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not following you at all. I don't understand a word of this. Of course you don't. Felix is the only one I've spoken to about any of this. And as we all know, Felix doesn't talk in this game. What? You knew? That's not fair. Tell us. Uh, okay. <laughs> Please, Felix, let's just not say too much about it just yet. It's far too complicated. Oh, is it because they're women that you think they wouldn't understand? Fuck you, Creighton. Fuck you and your misogynist academia. Well, when will you tell us? I am sure we will tell you once we get to Lemuria. Do you promise? I promise. Yes, you don't mind waiting. I cannot read minds like Sheba, but I have a guess at what you're thinking. A guess? What do you mean? You are a great scholar, Creighton, are you not? I believe your theory is correct, and to prove it, I want to return to Lemuria as soon as possible. That's pretty interesting. So only the boys get to understand what the hell's going on. Uh, we need to stay at an inn very badly. <laughs> I just realized how very, very low our health is. I mean, synergy mainly. But yeah. Okay. Okay, so as you probably remember from the previous episode, I was, I went a little bit to the east of here and ran into a little temple thing. Um, and you'll probably guess by the design, it is the same as the other two towers we've been to so far. So this is the resting place of the third piece of the trident. Ankol Ruins, which is, uh, I believe, is based on the um, Cambodian ruins of Angkor. Walk or something? I'm not sure. I don't know enough about Southeast Asian history. But there's a really, really famous uh, ruin in Southeast Asia based on that this is based off of. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's not cool. Someone already looted the place. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it makes sense that they would have already looted it since it's so close to the entrance and... I'm surprised that more dungeons haven't been looted before we got to them, to be honest. Okay, so we got through those. Oh, come on. Dinox. That's cute. 
And Felix is still a motherfucking truck. I'm gonna have to get rid of all of these. I'm very sorry, but I have to. I will get very anxious if I do not. Because <laughs> I might have missed something. Okay, so that's clear what that is. Um, we're gonna go here first, just to see what's around. Get a feel for the place. There's a lot going on. <laughs> oh, hello upstairs. Hello treasure. Um, I guess we're going this way. Oh, no, nothing there. Nothing we can do now. What's down here? Nothing. Oh, another, not another squirrel fang. Oh, no. The funny thing is, the monsters have not been leveling up because we're at the open-ended part of the game where you can go wherever the fuck you want first. Um... So we're way power, more powerful than the monsters we're running into. We have hit the peak of the level. I don't know the word for it, but yeah, we're, we're in a good spot. <laughs> okay. What's up here? I see. I see. Oh, of course you missed, but all we needed was Jenna. Cool. Awesome. My team is getting stronger than ever. Now we are going to sand. Ah, I hate sand. It gets everywhere. Ah, see, I got you. I got you with that fucking line. <laughs> all right. What's in the treasure? Finally, someone didn't get this one first. Thanatos me sounds powerful. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's un- Hang on. It's only one point weaker than the Glower Staff. I'm gonna see if Jenna can- Nope. Nope. That <laughs> I got the item, but I can't use it because everyone already has better shit. <laughs> that's the peril of the open-ended part of the game, I suppose. Okay. Oh, hello. And we complete the face. Aha! And you're gonna spew out a shit ton of sand. And now we can get that treasure. Isn't that nifty? Nice. And Raiden's Wrath. Fucking awesome as always. Still not sick of Raiden's Wrath. I told you I never will. <laughs> we'll find a replacement weapon by the time I'm sick of it, so don't worry. It'll never happen. Okay. Jump, you jump, you jump, you. And this way. Oh, come on. That was cool. And that Minotaurus can just take down the damage. Okay, good. Oh, was this the right way? Okay. Nope, that's not the right way. God damn it, game. <laughs> totally forgot where I was before the battle. <laughs> Alright. Treasure. Ooh, that's useful. And... Okay. And left. Oh, hello. Passageway. 
before I go up that passageway, I have to see what's down here. Um, lots of different paths. Hello, treasure. I like you. Money is not, that was not enough money for that to be worth it, but okay. I cleared the treasure, so that makes me feel better about myself. Oh no, a squirrel thing! What will we do? What's in here? A puzzle, which we can't solve right now. Okay. Kill that motherfucking living armor. <laughs> it's defending, isn't it? Piece of shit. At least everyone killed it. Good job, team. Good job. way quick. Uh, I don't want to do that just yet. I want to get the treasure. Go Felix! <laughs> oh! Did you see that? I got a Tartarus axe. Look at that shit! Vein tap. Oh, that's graphic. Uh, I'm going to give this to Felix just to see what it does. We, we already have a better weapon, but I've never gotten that weapon before. And I want to see what its unleash looks like. Vein tap sounds juicy. <laughs> okay, looks like we're going to see it. Oh, it's, it absorbs HP, that's why it's good. But I would much rather... I've already got healers, so I, I'd rather do damage. Still cool that I got the item, that's worth a bunch of money. And it, it's a cool sense to be finding random items, you know? What's here? <sighs> Disappointment. In the famous words of... Uh, what are the... What, fuck that guy's uh, name is. Played Hercules in that shitty series. Uh, he's like, disappointed! Because it said in the script, um, disappointed in parentheses, like, it's the line. You're supposed to deliver it while disappointed. Sounding disappointed. But he literally just screamed disappointed because he misread it, and I thought that was the funniest thing ever. Okay, this way. was rough. I mean, no, it was easy, but that was nerve-wracking. <laughs> I kept thinking I was gonna muck it up. Did I really just say muck it up instead of fuck it up? Wow, look at me. I'm positively censored. <laughs> okay, what's back here? Nothing. Okay. Do the thing! Hello. <laughs> And, oh, okay, this is part one of, like, two for this area. Cool beans. So that's part one done, and that's gonna go down. What's back here? The fuck? <laughs> the fuck just happened? I think I remember that happening before, too. That's a glitch. Where it registers you as entering the room that way. Just like in the other. That's bizarre. Okay, what's back here? Treasure. Please be treasure. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck this game! <laughs> 
I love this game. <laughs> to clear it out sorry no one's cleaned in this ruin for years and years i've got to do it oh fucking hell also Okay, what, yet another area I can't get through yet? No problem. No problem. We just go this way. And what's in here? I love those windows. Those are pretty with a light effect. Very well done, game designers. Hello. Oh, oh, okay, we're back here. Let's, uh, let's go through all of these and remove their noses surgically. Because, <laughs> you know, that's what you do. <laughs> okay, what's in here? Hello. Are we for real right now? <laughs> oh, lord. Is this real life? <laughs> oh, I think they all have a door behind them. That's cool. Treasure! Not bad. I'm just defacing all of these priceless artifacts. <laughs> these beautiful statues were just like, no, we're just gonna rip this whole thing off. No problem. That's what Felix and Gang does. Defilers of the sacred. Why did I just do that? Okay. <sighs> Nothing. That was disappointing. What's in here, treasure? Oh, that's something. Okay. Ah, this will take us back to that other thing. Cool. Oh, really? You didn't kill a fucker? Okay. One more round, and you're dead. Yep, that's what I thought. Didn't even take a whole round. Suck on that. Okay, now we'll have to go back to that one. Well done, team. Well done. Actually, I think this one we can check out, too. Yes! Treasure. That's a super meh item, but okay. Wow, you're just getting that thunder shock attack off every time, aren't you? All right, sand. And the nut. That's also pretty meh. Not gonna lie. Pretty meh. Okay. Oh, come on. Good job. And more of nothing. But 
we know where, where we're going at least. We gotta get through that other statue part and then we'll unlock the rest of the puzzle. And we will do all of that next time on Sarasi Plays Golden Sun, The Lost Age.